Uh, we are here today at Lorraine Bourgeois Art Opening, an exhibition that's presenting uh, large format drawings. Lorraine is an instructor in the Department of Visual Arts and she's been teaching with us for about 10 years now. Originally from Paris, France, she's now based in Toronto and we are most delighted to have this beloved instructor exhibit her work for the first time, her large work in Conte on paper. They're only equally important for me, all, all the portraits, uh, all those uh, images are important. I mean, I think they, they project something, each of them projects something different, a uh, different individual. Uh, I mean, you know, most visual artists, like their work is very private. Uh, and I know maybe you don't want to put that there. But, um, so I work uh, long hours and really months sometimes on each piece in the studio. And, and, and of course, it's really important for me to, to show the work in the gallery setting so I can share it with other people. What matters to me is bringing back these people who live before us uh, into our world, into the, the contemporary world, and, and uh, yeah, and, and really reflecting on the idea of, of life and what, what it is to be living in a life. All of the faculty at the Marilyn I. Walker School continue to be engaged in the professional practice, whether as visual artists, as musicians, as theatre artists. And Lauren's exhibit is an opportunity for the faculty member to share her creative research with her students and with the other students of the Marilyn I. Walker community. We're in a smaller community in St. Catharines. It's very important and we're terribly lucky to have artists travel from Toronto, from Buffalo, from points across Canada to share their work with us. And we invite all of the university students to come and see this innovative, sensitive moments of new creative expression at the Visual Arts Gallery. The show runs from October 18th to November 18th and the gallery hours are Tuesday to Saturday, 1 to 5 p.m. if you're interested in coming by and seeing her work.